niko abu kwa how to identify yourself okay the nilikuwa nauliza the simple initiatives za mtu wewe mkibinafsi like ikume kutie utielewe unaona kuna kama kuna kuna hiyo yenye uko common answer like utaambiwa utafute ubiev kama mtu unataka kukua siji kuna get semeka for example mimi nataka kuwa engineer ndambiwa ni bf ka wo engineer whereas ja okay sita sit around many engineers ile ni get to learn huyu anafanya nga hivi yake iko hivi iko hivi siji kuna ni get na ku get eh kitu kai ah asante mpigie makofi yes eh uh, si tumelewa swali nimesema the initiatives of understanding yourself because kuna point watu huambiwa kama unataka kuwa engineer ji conduct kama engineer kama unataka kuwa daktari tafuta bei ya stethoscope eh, kabuti the dust coat hivyo but sasa utapata for example my engineer hawako raisi kupatikana si ndio eh kwanza sasa unataka kuwa aeronautical before when the airport nini so which other initiatives ziko za kuji understand si ndio ndio swali kuna mtu kwa crowd anaweza saidia kujibu na mwa ni siu ni kwa nimewa kwa nimewa put down kuna jibu alright kuna mtu ameuliza hiyo swali rudiwe tena okay thank you thank you uh, what are the other initiatives of understanding yourself and your purpose besides conducting yourself as who you'd like to be okay tumeelewa tume understand yes nani atajibu ndio huyo. Ah, okay, si mama. Na ujitambulisha tukujui. Identify yourself. Yes. Praise God. Amen. I am Joy. Okay. And as we as Christians, the only way to identify ourselves is through the word of God. That is the only way. Yes. Okay. Okay, makofi. Uh, uh, mtu mwingine ako na answer Okay so tutakuja kwa eh kurugenzi Alafu ningeomba tukijibu tuangalie pia kamera those watching at home later wajue ni akina nani wasione mgongo sana Amen Aha uh -huh, praise God Amen praise God the once more Amen So for those who don't know me I'm Hans Okot and uh <laughs> so other initiatives um, hmm, first understand your past ukishaje your past yako then where you want to go utaweza kujujua so ki understand your past na mali unataka kuenda utajijua zaidi ah uh, ha ingine ni kujua ni nini unapenda what do i love passion yangu iko wapi utajijua mm, through reading the word pia nona but me nita lie hapo kwa kujua past yako jui ijue sana utaweza kujijua zaidi thank you very much may god bless you makofi uh, it's a very good point okay kisha understand your past kuna watu for example past yao haijawapeleka vizuri anaka chini anasema siku moja ile gari nitaendesha eh uh, hao watu watajua mimi nani so that understanding your past will shape your future and will shape who you are Uh, anyone else yes hey mr microphone harakisha yes makofi taj introduce pia praise god amen uh, hey i'm esther amunga and another initiative of understanding yourself if you understand your weakness and your strength you can work on them and it will benefit you in understanding yourself. Amen. Ni sawa, ni sawa. Ni sawa. Noted. Tumeelewa. Mako. Eh, that was. Ina mko wise akili mtu. Eh. Hey. Jamani. Eh eh. Mambo ni matatu. Kwa sawa? Eh check your strength and your weaknesses and you work on them. Sendio to make the strong stronger and the weak strong eh kuna kushuka chini sio ndio eh ah 
mtu mwingine hapo anajibu msifunge funga anyone else yeah, so initiative number one know the word of god number two understand your past number three work on your strengths and weaknesses hey. yes ah uh, swali jingine kama ni lingine another question kuna question okay any other question ah kuna question thank you sao watu wana to watch back at home Okay praise God. Amen. I'm um, Helen Obure, God fearing lady. Eish. I love God. Hebu kidogo, uh, kidogo, kidogo. Hey. Eh. Aha. Helen talk to us. Acha hata nikae chini. Afa uka chini hata nimsikize. Okay, yes. Okay, uh the question i'd like to ask this afternoon uh, as a young youth uh, who is born again we've got a lot of challenges yeah and then we've got a lot of friends okay as a born again christian or a born again young christian we might have friends who are not born again non believers so my question is if you want to cut off these friends obviously you cannot just go to a friend and tell her or him that today I don't want to talk to you. So how can you avoid these non Christians that maybe are there to destroy your life and maybe to distract your life? Yes. Hey. Mlikuja prepared? I can see. Mpigie makofi. That's a very valid question by the way. Eh, unakwanga na friends unajua wanakupeleka hapa baya lakini uwezi kuja umwambie. Ah. Kidogo we cannot be friends anymore. You to feel unta sound harsh, si ndio? Eh, yeah, must I sound harsh, si ndio? Yes. Yeah, so what can we do? Eh, nani ako na jibu? Eh. Eh, bwana. Eh. Eh. Sa watu watching back at home. Eh. Yeah. Onge. Sa, uh praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. Uh the advice that I can give um, using my experience, I grew up in a ghetto mali maboy za wako wa that street and most of them i can say waliziku wa wengine mali wako wako industrial area so first of all identify where you want to go jua future yako and your target then secondly of course wewe zienda kumwambia yo kutoka leo mimi si rafiki yako what you do is that you make yourself busy with other stuff as in unawatoka chini ya maji unakuaga lakini ukwa uko busy kidogo so unajikuta yeah like mimi nikienda hata mtaani wanajuanga andole manu amekuja leo but vako zao huyuko so you become unique hata wanakujua tu huyu si vibes zetu aziendani because umeji distance na wao uambi but unaji distance pole pole hivyo tu watakuacha hao wenyewe tu oh, amen eh una, unatoka unajitoka chini ya huu chini ya maji si ndio chi 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 ndio huyu hapa eh hey, ladies this <coughs> first jamani chi okay hey. yangu si simama usao watu back at home eh hey, now introduce hi usao watu back at home eh hey. ivo ivo my name is esther eh uh-huh. sina answer but ni kuongeza kwa question yake okay so why did nasema god is love and if god is living in us we shouldn't hate anyone so yes niko na some atheist friends so na like how any distract from my believing so how do you handle them cuz utaki kusima si fwe we ni self righteous uh-huh. eh hey. hey. i'm gonna questions you guys I, I, I like your questions very much. Ah ah kulikuwa na Robinson. Eh so Praise Jesus. Simama na usawa watu back at home. Eh na utugu tuambie jina lako. Praise Jesus. Amen. Ah uh, I'm Robin. Na kenyeneza nataka ni kujibu swali ya the lady here. Helen. 
si wote tuko na friends ndio na before to kuwe witnessed to salvation pia si bado kuna mali tulikuwa before to kuwe witness so the same way ulikuwa witness to na ukakuwa born again na uka receive Christ in your life na uka mwenjua yani akakuwa ende or save your life yako the same way unaweza witness kwa your friends jukani your friends obvious kuna wanaweza kukusikiza obvious ju they are your friends kwa hivyo the same way ulikuwa witness to the same way unaweza witness umuin ju temeka uko na mabeste ka watano wabaya among our, our five friends na wote walikuwa ma friends wako niko sure hapo kiongelesha wote always kosa mmoja mwenye ata change yeah na hiyo ndio inaweza bring difference sio lazima u avoid some ni ku witness tu kwao una witness ju bado tunaweza win the people who are close to us yeah amen so amesema wa witness ehe jibu kuliko oh ume eh chi chi brian brand tabii nimekuja hapa thank you uh so praise god amen uh my name is brian and i'll start with answering helen's question um there's a certain person i had saying that if you want to change the people who surround you first by first start by changing your mentality so how you carry yourself determines the people who surround you so when you're born again and you have a mentality of a born again christian you have to change your mentality once you change your mentality and fit into that position of you being a born again christian then the people who surround you start to be the people who surround you begin to change so the friend, if you had bad friends they begin to change they step out and god provides new friends who are christians you see so begin with your mentality transform yourself first then after transforming yourself then the people who surround you will be transformed and a new set of people who are like you will start talking into your life and to answer to answer Esther on what she said about her atheist friends and them not distracting them um the three revelations that i learned this week that you have to know about Christ that is Christ Jesus as the savior jesus as lord and jesus as christ but i'll focus on jesus as savior so you as a born again christians you received christ and you know christ as jesus the savior the way you know jesus is the savior this is a revelation you have about him after you have been born again so when you know him as savior um you can't stay around people and just tend to be okay that these people who surround me are not born again because you know Jesus as savior and because you know him as a, a savior and he saved you um you have to transform your life around and start saving the people around you so that they may also get a revelation of Jesus as savior so you know God as savior you're not supposed to be comfortable that ah uyo jokoka so me I'm okay with it you and shidake um start bringing the people who are not saved around you um and speak to them about God's word witness to them as robinson has said witness to them of what you know and what christ has done in your life he saved you tell them of how he saved you from the things he saved you from and yeah that is my take on the questions makofi kuna kidogo hapo imeni touch amesema know your mentality as a christian eh go wise i tell you you guys are wise eh nani mwingine alikuwa anajibu kuna njozi ah okay ah praise god amen ah mimi naitwa jose ah mimi kwa hiyo swali ameuliza nilikuwa na mabesti na daily nilikuwa tukipatana ni ile ya suniwashe suniwashe so in short of kuwasha ni umtolefo mia bangi Yeah. So Kenya lifanya nikawa avoid most cuz mimi nimepitia hapo ni dance. So unatafuta ile kitu best yako yenye unaweza do unaji keep busy nayo. Cuz mostly ilikuwa tunapata na during the week mapata tuko na dance yao atakam. Oh yeah, stunde hivi. Naomba nina shughuli kuna mali naongojea. So unapata na watoka lakini hawajui so itafika mahali 
ukiwatoka tu hivyo kabisa wenyewe watakushughulikia hawezi kutafuta cause vako zao hauna inakuwa tu umepotea cause bible inasema wakati Christ alisulubishwa tulisulubishwa naye lakini sisi si, si, ni ile ya kitambo so ukipata Christ umebadilika uweze endelea yeah makofi so proud akili mtu wangu eh any other one kuna mwingine ah mshi jitambulishe no sawa people back at home ah uh, praise god amen yes naitwa abushi as you have heard um as joseph said in short put yourself in a department in church that will keep you busy from avoiding those bad friends and um personally how i i avoided my bad friends ni niliji keep more busy na ku focus kujua god eh hey, once i got born again nilingia with fire i wanted to know god and all that and also um put yourself under a mentor mwenye anaweza kusaidia ku walk through ku avoid those bad friends and um to answer this question ya pili i am in school i'm finishing form 4 and um my <laughs> Um, and um, most of my friends in school my classmates were coevo non believers but what you do as you as a believer as a disciple of Christ everything you mention mention Christ akikuuliza swali usikose ku quote na scripture eh sasa kama um last week waliniuliza kudanganya ni mbaya and um, as sold out tuko na a verse revelation 21:8 eh so nikawakutia scripture nikawaelezea and all that So you as a believer of Christ in everything that you do I know na wapenda I know wezi waacha but everything you say sema na Christ akiwapo ndani kwa hiyo conversation yeah hivyo Amen Uh Uh-huh Oh kuna mtu mwingine Sidhani Oh Sidhani Oh yuko yuko nani ladies ladies ah uh, uh, praise god amen um so oh my name is sharon and uh, so about bad influence so bible inasema bad company ina corrupting good habits right na bible idangaji so at the same time sawa you have bad friends but pia at the same time we are the light of the world so I will say that I will avoid them. Okay, so you can avoid them by because you have a free will, right? To kill a dog, we used to be forced to do some things, but now I'm a grown up, I have the right to say no. You know, ndio akiniambia twende club, I'm like, no, me I want to go to the club because bebo linasema like word ina kwanga kama our mirror. So when you look at yourself, bebo ndo inasema who you really are. When you tunaambiwa word ndo inaku define So if you let uh people define you of course you'll fall you know so you have a free will to say no or yes you know you have that but also you have the holy spirit kukusaidia me i believe kuna friendships to be built zenye zinakwanga hard kuacha you know and ingine nafika inakuwa a prayer item miss is same like you know unapata mtu wako like huyu mse tulikwanga tu friends and then imagine ashindwa kumwacha like ivo tu unasikia uko na connection it's just friends but no tulikuwa tunaambiwa when the devil wants to destroy you hakujangi ati na venye like how he does ati anakuja am the devil have come to destroy you no he uses people too you know atakujana mbali as a friend well, like nili meet tu juzi is a good friend but anataka kutoa kwa grace ya god unaona so first of all you have a free will to say yes or no for, like from those bad choices you also have god to help you ku toka kwa hiyo hizo friendships zenye zinakuwa ngumu ku handle unaona so yeah you pray read the word but also u katai kama ni wrong don't just say god will help me i'll go to the club and you will just do that god will help atan to apo no the devil is cunning too so you have to also stand yeah when we grow in christianity no kama na we we grow we don't just remain so the more you grow unakuwa pia farm na the more you read the word of god hey shetani is it all your word ndani yako sawa so yeah you you have the choice but also you pray god to remove the bad people around you 
Amen. Yeah. Amen. Makofi. Yes. So, uh, Helen, I mean, you've gotten your answer. Esther, Mejibiwa. Okay. Amen.